Okay, here I go working on my 2002 Ford Escape. First thing we have to do is take off the cover uh, that just sort of shields the engine. Uh, there's all this linkage, you just sort of remove it. I'm already in the spark plugs here. You can see the coil on plug. It's one of them seized up in there, one of the plugs, so I had to use some liquid wrench. Uh, I just sort of abridged everything just to cut it down. I marked my spark plug so I can go back and diagnose how the individual cylinders are firing after the fact. Here's the linkage for the throttle and the um, cruise control. Just set that over to the side, cleaning up as I go, dusting off with some compressed air. This is for the uh, mass airflow sensor connector there from the throttle. There's the throttle is off. The throttle uh, body cleaner. Upper intake is off. We're looking at the lower intake manifold. This is the plenum or what some people call the upper intake manifold. Gaskets are old, they're out, new gaskets in. That was the main objective. Little anises on the bolts. Just a bridging. Spark plugs out. Here's sort of my kit. There's my spark plug, plug gapper. Use the wire one for more accuracy. Spark plug back in. Coil on plug back in. And of course the screw, or the bolt rather, to hold it in there. There's all my disconnected vacuum lines, etc. Spark plug number three comes out. And of course it's time lapse, so it just gets switched very quickly. Dielectric grease on the coil on plug connector for the top of the spark plug. Same thing in those electrode connectors. So you cover the port so that nothing falls in there, and I use tape on the socket wrench fitting so that those would not accidentally come apart and fall inside the motor. Those are the connectors for the fuel injectors there, came off of the uh, fuel rail, the wiring harness that connects to the fuel rail. Marking with a paint marker set, uh, just, I had a couple, I needed more actually, but marking so that I could have my pieces, hoses, and connectors uh, coated. Individual plugs for the ports would have been better, like rags, paper towels, or socks, which I'm going to do next time. I got lucky nothing fell in there. Those gaskets there on the lower intake manifold are the crucial ones. Obviously had not been changed probably since the vehicle was manufactured. There you're looking into the actual engine block. So, and there's the actual intake manifold with the fuel rail connected to it. We're looking at the PCV valve here. There's the new one. That's all it is. Made out of plastic. Pulled out the old one. It was all fouled with oil, as you can see there. And the PCV hose is hard, brittle. Looking in, it's kind of dirty everywhere. So as I go through, I just try to clean up everything without letting anything fall into the engine or getting too tedious about it. It was a one day job, it took me six hours to do all of this, so I couldn't take too long to do any one particular thing. Intake manifold goes back in, fuel rail connects, slides in underneath over on the left, it kind of slots in and under, the wiring harness does. And bolting in by hand, the intake manifold, first the bolts, and then ratcheting them down in, in a uh, crisscrossing pattern to even distribution dielectric grease on the connectors again for the injectors there which are also made out of plastic and the injectors are made out of plastic the plenum or the upper intake manifold slotting it back in connecting vacuum lines lining it up turning in the bolts by hand just to kind of hold it in place and then down by hand and then ratchet it down. Boom. Going sort of crisscross patterns to for even distribution again. There goes the throttle, goes back on. I check the actual throttle mechanism right here to make sure that it's not locked up after I bolt it in place lightly. Right here. So all this stuff began because I had a poor idle. Went to replace the fuel filter. That didn't solve the problem, so I went ahead and upgraded a few components like the EGR valve and IAC valve, emissions hoses and vacuum lines, and got to this.
I was originally studying to be a mechanic, so I figured it was time to brush up and save myself some money. And during this process, I found some oil in the spark plug wells on 2 and 5, so basically it means I'm going to have to go back and replace the valve cover gaskets and plug seals, so that's going to save me more money. Everything in place, I start the engine and run it. No rattling, no braking. Cover goes back over the engine. And I'm done.